What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to watch a film that I'm sure is extremely advertiser friendly for YouTube by all stretch. It's a film called X. And I've never seen the trailer, but I know it's A24. I know my homegirl Jenna Ortega's in it. What's her name? Mia Goth. She's all the talk, and I'm like, yeah. I haven't seen anything with her. <laughs> but she, so, very blind reaction today. Have you seen the trailer for this? I saw like an ad a, a long time ago. I know like a couple bare bones ideas, but not much else. I'm excited to see what's in store. How are you? I am excited. I've been hearing a lot about this, so I can't wait to see what's in store. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for uh, recommending this our way. Please go ahead and leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Also subscribe and click that notification bell because you never know what we're going to cover on here that might pique your interest. Also, uh, full length reaction watch along as we sync up with your own copy of X. We are watching this off Amazon, available for our super sexy rejects over at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have joined. We cover several stuff exclusively over there, reaction highlights and watch alongs included. All right. I'm a, I, I don't know what we're about to watch. Let's find out. <laughs> As Zack Snyder intended. Oh, this is a clever shot. Are we through a doorway? Oh, <laughs> good call. Yeah. Good call, oh. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Perfect aspect ratio change. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was an animal. <laughs> I mean, it still could be, I guess. <laughs> wow, that's exactly the Texas Chainsaw House. <laughs> and he will flee from you. I regret to say, I know the powers of Satan. Amen, brother. <laughs> Creepy. Get my God. <gasps> nice transition. Satanic undertones and some very overt satanic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> cool shot. You're special. There ain't nobody else out there like you. I feel like that line is very important already. You're a insect symbol. <laughs> that's what I, that's how I start my day. <laughs> Digging the framing a lot. Plowing <laughs> service. <laughs> Bitch in text. America! America! Don't tread on me. <laughs> Very Texas Chainsaw. The Farmer's Daughters. Hollywood, here we come. No, man. We don't need Hollywood. These type of pictures turn regular folks into stars. We're going to do it all ourselves. This guy does a great McConaughey impression. <laughs> that sounds an awful lot like what you said about the topless car wash. You remember that? Yeah, and had the IRS not had it. Jenna Ortega? Jenna? I was dealt a good hand. People spent a lot of money to look at what God gave me. Is that Britney Snow? That is Britney Snow, and that's Kid Cudi. Oh, what? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hurry it up. We ain't gonna be long in there. Man, these set designs are really great. I deserve nice things. I have cosmopolitan taste. Don't I know it. I mean it. I want the whole world to know my name. Hey, everyone with a pulse is going to lust after a piece of Maxine Minx once they see what you can do. Oh, Maxine yeah. Maxine Minx. Because you're going to be all over the news, lady. <laughs> Your little boyfriend's cute. You help him with all his films? Sometimes. Yeah. Is that your boyfriend? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually intend on experimenting a lot with the films editing, giving it a, a certain sense of the avant-garde like they're doing in France. It's classier that way. Oh, yes. Elevate your material. All right, go ahead and fill her up. So very tender. Direct cinema. If you tilt the camera up from the nozzle, 
it'll look like he's using his <laughs> nice symbolism <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't expose your jacket then. All the result of our increasingly secular society. Besides, ain't exactly something I want to advertise around town. This evangelical backdrop is very interesting. Get what we needed. Oh, I got it. Thanks to help from yours truly. Oh my God, there's sinners that are going to be punished. Yeah, God's going to come down Himself. I appreciate it, even with the sound design, they're really committed to it. It's still a TV station that's a whole state watches? Jeez. <laughs> yep. Before it is too late, he may be a forgiven God, but every man has got his limits. Oh, wow. Look at all these cows. Interesting. Are they going to kill all these cows? Yep. I love cows. Have you ever seen a cow up close? <laughs> what is what? Ooh. Maybe just one. Oh, oh no! Oh, don't look. It's I hate letting go. It's foreshadowing. Oh, that's horrible. I'm getting too old for this shit. Something tells me it's gonna really take a very change of like big, very change. Of, a very big change of direction, damn it. <laughs> damn it. We got there. <laughs> it's like, oh, Texas Chainsaw, but then, no, it's really going to take a change. <laughs> Great voyeuristic angles, too. Very 70s. Makes you want to bust out your zoom lens. Y'all stay put while I go handle business right quick. Nice. This choir music sounds like sacrificial music. Yeah, but a ritual. This wasn't what I had in mind when I agreed to help out on your family. Got to start somewhere, Lorraine. Just don't understand why you're doing all this. Because it is possible to make a good, dirty movie. <laughs> <laughs> fight the good fight, my dude. <laughs> Read it for the articles. You from the county? This is private property. Didn't you see the signs down at the end of the drive? Nope. Oh, he, he, easy, partner. <laughs> Piano keys. I'm from Houston. Yo, we spoke on Tuesday. Oh, that's right. Uh, you had me pretty nervous there. It ain't <laughs> even loaded. <laughs> that's one ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> wow, we don't even see that guy up close, huh? Wonder if it's some kind of Easter egg character actor. I mean, I'll probably see him again, but... Charlie Hunnam. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Villain. What if it just turns into the visit? Oh, you know that's the devil right there. You got sin walking on your property right now, lady. Temptation incarnate. Won't be having any of this lust and fornication over here. We are a wholesome family, God's children. You sure? Flat feet. I did. Two tours in South Vietnam. Had enough farmers trying to shoot me for one lifetime. Just like that, you made an enemy. Yeah. I don't recall you mentioning you'd be bringing all these others. See, your ad said $30, but I threw in a little extra to sweeten the deal. I'll take your thirty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very sweet deal. <laughs> it's harmless. He's just old. He don't know what we're doing, does he? <laughs> There's the question. Of course not. He sure doesn't, and I intend to keep it that way. Well, it's better to beg for forgiveness and ask for permission. Is there a goddamn dead body in there? What's with all the flies? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the chase, and we give the people what they want to see. Finally. <laughs> Kid Cuddy. wonder what the audition was like. So you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, all of this is going to be a lot of things you can't see right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if Jenna Ortega is enjoying it or not. Yeah, no, she, she wants, she secretly wants this life.
sloshing water. <laughs> go for a dip. What could go wrong? Now we're on Friday the 13th. Crystal Lake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, is that the mom? I the wife, I mean? Yeah, probably. Got more hair on top. <laughs> oh, shit. Is she the villain of the movie? Is it the visit? Damn sure people are going to want to see what I just saw in there. Well, that's because I'm not treating it like pornography, but it's cinema. Oh, people's <laughs> eyes are going to pop out of their damn skulls when they see this. Foreshadowing oh, that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a, that's a workplace scenario. Strange inner cutting. See, because back then they couldn't, it, it, it took a long time to add like a dissolve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just put a few frames. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. When your feet were in the water, I was like, I wonder if an alligator would be in here. <laughs> and then it becomes crawl or a crocodile. Very cool shot. Yeah, it's spooky. Uh, yeah! <laughs> that nice. is a terrifying <laughs> shot. Oh. Damn. Oh. That is terrifying. All their budget went into building this alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Team of puppeteers. Yep. Ooh, that's yep, scary. Yep, yep. Oh, no, 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 no. And action! <laughs> My daddy will be home soon, and I'm sure he could give you a lift to town. Would you like to come inside? Ha! <laughs> Would I? This is like a French film. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like watching Godard or Truffaut, you know? What is that? <laughs> is she being waved over? Yep. Follow me, dearie. Just making some fresh head cheese. Hello? <laughs> 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 that made me jump. I find this all very interesting. A lot of flies in here. <laughs> it's all sweat. Everyone's just sweating. Oh, damn. We might actually have a dead body this time. Or a disgusting sink. Yes. It's like every haunted maze I've ever been to. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what a tea party. <laughs> the faster I drink this, the faster I get out of here. Yeah. I was young once, Chase. I was taken right before the first war. Believe it or not, my Howard served her both. Damn, that sucks. There wasn't anything you wouldn't do for me back then. Crossed oceans of time to get to you. And the war came, so not everything in life turns out how you expect. This could be your future, lady. You remind me of me. Beautiful. Look. Guys, gotta stop hanging by the windows. I wonder why we're intercutting to this. If Daddy catches us, there's no telling what he might do. <laughs> what are you doing? Just in time. You should go. It will be our secret. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Yeah. We're in oh, love damn. Now. It's okay. <laughs> Something tells me that woman's evil. Yeah. And he's actually all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just protecting the rest of us from her. <laughs> Watch out! Whoa, yeah. my God. The kid says we're going to lose a lot. 
come on now, chop chop. Well, she's definitely in the mood now. Yep. <laughs> Get on camera. I will not accept a life I do not deserve. So many mantras in this movie. Too much lust and greed, man. Pride. <laughs> they are the embodiment of the seven deadly sins. Except for gluttony. They're all in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Evidence. Oh, no. Oh, you guys. Don't go sneaking. We shouldn't disturb him. It would only make him angry. You would lie, Daddy, when he's angry. Now you gotta kill some time. This is pretty very, this is pretty, like, artsy. It's good. I could give you a ride. Ha, ha, ha. Whoa. Uh, Ew. Oh, it's quite a vanity. This is bad news. Come on, old lady, get in there. Yeah, oh. she wants to jump in. She curious. Yikes. Oh. She also wants to jump in. <laughs> <laughs> that is creepy as hell. Oh, yeah. She craves the youth. Oh. That's you in the future. Embrace it. I have a weird theory. I wonder if that old lady is, an, is like a, a younger, a much younger actor in makeup. Like it's her? Like it's Mia Goth or something. Uh, wonder if she relied so much on her beauty. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Let's do this. Seduce him. Live your best life. You know I can. My heart. Aww. But what a way to go out. Be careful. Told y'all she was something special. Thanks, baby. Oh, come on. Don't be so shy. Speak up. Say you want to be in the film as you wear your crucifix. <laughs> Isn't it strange watching her doing it with him? As long as the camera is running. So the camera changes things. That's right. It's not real life, Randy. It's just a movie. Oh, I'll run this by my wife. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> I can be with anyone I want if there's a camera in the room. You can decide who you want to love and not who you want to screw. Attraction is out of our control. It ain't healthy keeping those feelings locked away inside. I've seen you sneaking a few long peeks at Jackson over here. No, I, I okay. wasn't looking. You don't mind none. Oh, no, he's insecure. Cameraman minds. Finally, people gonna get to see what they desire in the privacy of their own homes. Oh, yeah. Free of judgment. We're gonna give that to them before anyone else. On Betamax. Toast to the perverts. They've been paying our bills for years. It's living a lot of access. Being young and having perverts. fun to the day we die. To the power of independent cinema. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with all of that, but I did like what I saw today. I didn't think I would, but I did. Cheers to that. <laughs> Where's this sequence gonna land us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Splatterfest. What awful montage is this begetting? This poor old lady. She's so old and has so many desires still. <laughs> I want to do a scene in the movie. Oh, here it is. Yep, yep. Who's going to do the sound? What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did y'all put her up to this or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's your fault, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't make any sense. We've already shot half of it. Story can't just suddenly change midway. Just add another daughter. Why? Because he just isn't done. <laughs> what about in Psycho? You love that movie. Well, Psycho is a horror film. And you're about to step into one. <laughs> Nobody's coming to see this film for the plot. They're coming to see it's an ass and a big. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, man. You just signed her death warrant, Jenna Ortega. Well, she's going to do it whether you like it or not. Now, you try to stop her. Not only is she going to do it, she's going to go on to do it with God knows how many people and God knows how many other films, and nobody wants that. <laughs> Lorraine is not like the others in there. She is a nice girl. Wow. I beg your pardon? No, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I hate to be the one to tell you this. <laughs> but ain't none of them nice girls. <laughs> Set up a tripod and get on screen, dude. Damn, what an uncomfortable ass position to be in. <laughs> there it is, man. Satan rains down his influence. You signed your death warrant. Oh, dude's crying. Dang. Oh. You would not survive 2023, buddy. Yeah, man. You will not survive the OnlyFans era. <laughs> I wonder if he's the only one who makes that here alive. I, I can see it. <laughs> or he's about to die or now. Or the first one to <laughs> die. Yeah. Let's see how far they get without me. Good luck finding your own way, Eddie. Don't fear the reaper. <laughs> oh, why'd you get out? Are you all right? What's behind her hand? Sorry, I. Make her dreams come true, son. Get back at Jenna Ortega. Now, what's in her other hand? I hope the husband doesn't see this. He's gonna get his head blown off. How come you just did that? <laughs> Why won't you look at me? Look at me like you looked at her. I can show you what I'm capable of. Stop. I, I, I don't want to see it. Whoa. Oh, this poor old woman. Maybe we should just go find your husband. That's not the solution. Or leave. Leave. Oh, oh yep. Yeah, you were right. You should have said yes. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Disturbing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Cool lighting. Oh, damn, lighting <laughs> change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, buddy. Ah. Ah. <laughs> God, that is so many. I mean, I wonder how many slashes they had to cut that down for. <laughs> this is what happens when. You, this is what happens when you're a controlling prude when you say no. <laughs> she needs to let it out somehow. Maybe she can reverse the aging process with his blood. Now <laughs> uh, you used to dance. Yeah. Arthur Fleck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go crawl inside the fridge. <laughs> Whoa. RJ? RJ? <laughs> so she just starts slaughtering all them. <laughs> <So what happens? laughs> Old lady's finding her youthful energy again. Hey, 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 hey. I, I woke up and, and he was gone. I, you don't think he left me, do you? Oh. Uh -huh. He's probably just processing things, you know? Going back to bed. I feel bad if I hurt him. I don't want to break up. Oh, my God. <laughs> but 
Will you help me find him? Please. I'm worried. Well, I ain't getting in the middle of no more of this shit. <laughs> See, we got shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing out here? I'm looking for my boyfriend. Have you seen my wife? No, sir. All right, now you two get together. <laughs> <laughs> two keys to keep a healthy relationship. <laughs> never let a good woman out of your sight. I never mention her weight. There's an art to it, just like business. Yes. Oh no. Good. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, Come walk on. Right on. Come it, on. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ow. Damn, it's cool they did it in one take. Yeah. <laughs> I stepped on a nail. Come on out and help me, for Christ's sakes. I'm going to catch tetanus from this shit. Sure. <sighs> All you got to do is do it with the old lady. It's the key. Ooh. That's, that's how you survive it, right? What is that? It's gonna be like a pitchfork or something. Yep. <laughs> Not bad. There's another light down in the cellar. Can you go get it? My wife is not well. It's very dark, and I'm worried she could fall and break her hip. Yeah, that's that's what you should be worried about. The faster you go about it, the better. Oh, Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Transitions. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> <That was laughs> oh, is an eye out. Ugh. That was a really good jump scare, Dan. Oh, she moving quick. Yeah, she getting agile. Why will none of you make love to me? I think she's found a new outlet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There you go. Stab away, lady. Yeah, make sure he's dead. There you go. Enjoy yourself. I'll get another poke in there. Poke him in the butt. <laughs> I think you're right. I think there is a reason there's so many flies all over this farm. Damn, she home alone and then What if instead of a little kid it was an old person? Found it! Hey, I'm locked in! Hey! Damn. Like protection. the music is just like heavy panting. Yeah. <sighs> oh, hey Who's there. Who's that? Whoa, no. <laughs> yeah. It's a reasonable reaction. What a reaction. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is just them two in the house, huh? No, 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 it's Mia Farrow, too. Mia Goth, yeah. Goth. <laughs> <laughs> and Mia Farrow somewhere in this universe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Rosemary's Babies in the 70s, right? <laughs> My wife, she's gone missing. About a firepower for a missing wife. It's for Gators. I found her once by the edge of our pond. If she was to fall in. Yikes. Want some help? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I'm going to get my skis. <laughs> yeah, do that. Maybe some shoes too. <laughs> he did that scene method too. This film is scary. Yeah, really ominous and unsettling.
Go lie in bed with her. Tell her how you feel. Touch her skin. Yes. We're waiting for this. Go feel her skin. You remember what it was like once. <laughs> Relive the glory days. I only got the one light. Once a Marine, always a Marine. If she's out here, I'll find her. Where's that hand? Put your hand, arm around her. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> make, your, make your move. Come on. <laughs> Just misunderstood, Joe. Just needs that Ms. Ms. Right to come. Damn, along. she sleeps through anything, huh? <laughs> All that white powder lets her rest easy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's sucking the youth out of her. What's going on? <laughs> she's a dementor. She's gonna <laughs> eat her soul. Oh, nice. <laughs> little gator head there. What you doing on the way in there? Ugh, damn it, man. I wouldn't do this tonight. While wow, there's gators out. Yeah. Pops! You okay? You in there? <laughs> nah, you're safe. This is a creepy film. Yes, arm up. I don't think she's going to make it out of this movie alive, John. Uh, yeah, probably not. I just don't want him to get shot. This oh. shit! Woof. You scared me, Pops. Once a Marine, always a Marine. <laughs> I can't give her what she wants anymore. Say what? The last bohemian in the state here was the same. Barely in the clothes. Enticing my wife. Ah, they're both bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We better get back up to the house and find out what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. It's... Ah. He thinks he's... They're intentionally seducing? Whoa. Oh. Wake up. Please, for the love of God. Uh. <laughs> that'll, that'll do that. Just walked right past her. <laughs> that woman must have been touching me! Whoa. Here's Jenny. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. She's going to have a brutal ass death. <laughs> yep, yep. You can really feel it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nobody's coming for you. Get back down in that cell and be quiet. Oh. That is... Oh, God. Yeah. Sex reads. Lurking where we least expect. In good Christian homes. Right on our very noses. See, they're doing the God's work right now. Yeah. You know? They're doing yeah. the Lord's work. I think everyone we've been following are the bad guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> not not these murderers hiding out in the American they heartland. They are executing sin. That's true. Extensions of his grace. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Step away from the edge. It's dangerous. It's all right. Here, here. You're safe now. Okay. <laughs> it's just crazy. You don't suspect anything because she's an old ass lady. Yeah. What about becoming a nurse one day? So, okay. Why don't you come with me? Oh, damn. Why should you get to have it all? 
What have you ever done except peel? You don't deserve to be able to just flaunt it in my face like you did. It ain't my fault you didn't live the life you wanted. Oh. Move, you mean old ugly bitch. Yep. Right into the gator. Bitch. <laughs> oh! Wow. Oh! oh. Whoa. A full-on head chomp. Was that the one? You know I don't like blondes. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, they're both evil. Yeah. Yeah, that alligator head grab was, was good. It was visceral. The uh, place is empty. And I got another. Kept up the house for you. I don't want her. She had something special. Like I did. Oh, she can well. die and never get what I want. <laughs> she has it. The X factor. Yeah. Tell me I'm special. You are. You're a professional killer. Yeah. I feel that way since the first moment we met. Oh, you old romantic. So they are like the heart of the movie. Yeah. You still want me. Come on. You feel young again. You are way too old to feel young again. <laughs> Let her have this. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna die trying. Heart can't take it. Okay. Oh man, this guy about to die. <laughs> Remember the story of Adam and Eve. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have a heart attack. Go for it, you crazy kids. <laughs> oh no, what a terrible spot to hide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe the most tense I've ever seen this trope done. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> Howard about to have a heart attack. Get that shotgun blast. Jesus Christ. But did she catch word uh, that one of them is being kept? She must have. I mean... Whoa! You can go a little way on a flat tire. Oh, what? God. Okay, all right. But is it loaded? I mean, I would just run in there really quick. There's no need to go about this slowly. You know exactly yeah, exactly where the old couple is. You know you have a head start. <laughs> and if he dies, I mean, she'll be pinned, so... <laughs> Truck. I never should have listened to you. This is all your fault. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I hate you. No. I hate you all so much. You're about to die. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep it together. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> There's some very great kills in here, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A lot of punch, a lot of energy. If nobody shows up by tomorrow. Help her in the pond with the others. Gonna need to get weight out of the barn. It's sinking too. Yeah, really good hearing. Yeah. Whoa. Damn, her face is messed up. Nasty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. That's what I'm talking about. See? Howard! Where are the keys to the truck? In the kitchen. We have reached the crossroads. You're gonna rot when people find out what you've done. What I've done. Oh. I don't think I know who you really are. I saw what you did in the barn. You deviant little. 
Oh, that doesn't warrant any of this. Well, then don't just lie to me. Well, I'm nothing like you. Once and for all. You're kidnapping, murdering, sex being. I'm a f***ing star. No. Uh. <laughs> I will not accept a life I do not deserve. I do not deserve. Oh, wow. Stop staring at me. Well, you can still hit her at least. Throw it at her. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Kickback. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> nice. The Lord smiles on those who accept him. Praise his name. Glory be to Jesus. I love how they both died like that. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Drop kick. Yeah, double tap just to be safe. I'll never play you in a prequel. Nah, dude, you're gonna get your head run over, lady. You're not special. Ouch. It'll all be taken from you, just like it was from me. Oh, lady, you're bad. Come on. Should have been quiet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> With the crucifix. Jeez. Nice wide angle. It's going to drive it to an alligator's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Swallow the whole truck. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Oh. My beautiful little daughter, Maxine. Okay. Lured into a life of sin by the very deviance we want of here on a daily basis. Oh, is she Maxine? Yeah. That I mean, eh, I forgot her name. <laughs> yeah, no, she's Maxine. Maxine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did she know that was her dad on the TV show? She must. What do you reckon happened, Sheriff? How the hell should I know? It's <laughs> <laughs> a great answer. Found this inside. Put that in evidence. I see one goddamn fed up horror picture. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, so is this Pearl movie about Pearl? I guess it must be. That, I mean, so it was a cinematic universe. I don't know anything about what you're talking about. So it's a cinematic universe. I don't. I mean, I I haven't read much intentionally, but I yeah, Pearl. They like I think started working on while they were working on this and like Ty West and like Mia Goth like wrote it together, and then there's another third movie called Maxine with three X's that they're making now. Okay, so they are actually connected. It's not yeah. like the I Ice Cream Brothers, <laughs> the, the Cornetto <laughs> Trilogy. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting at. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know how you. I didn't pick up on that. When I said Ice Cream Brothers, <laughs> I was like, what the it's hell? It's the only this? connected movies I can think of that have a strong ice cream thing. Okay, I can remember what they were called. <laughs> we call them the Ice Cream Brothers now. Yeah, I was like, what are they called? <laughs> so like, yeah, they call that a trilogy. Shaun of the Dead and and, and those other two. Yeah, uh, but Spiritually. So these, are, these are actual connected. Yeah, I have no idea okay. how and, and why, but yeah. Okay, so she did play Pearl. See, okay, there you go. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, so she probably came up with the whole backstory for Pearl. And then, then Tyus was probably like, hey, that's yeah, pretty good. And they wrote it together, yeah. <laughs> we can uh, we can make something out of that. Yeah, that's that's gnarly. Yeah. And they like both came out in the same year, I think, last like last year. This is the most crowd pleasing Ty West movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, like I don't it, know Ty West's other movies, but there's enough stylistic flourishes and choices in here to make me think sometimes he does experimental independent pieces that go a little too far off the rails for your mainstream audience. <laughs> so. To a degree, yeah, but also that are like very deliberate and and patient and they take a while and then they kind of explain like a, a House of the Devil has that where it's like this is a very patient movie and then the last 20 minutes are insane. Oh really? Whereas this is like a steady build up throughout. And like his VHS segment is like one uh, of the slower burns. Well shit. Well shit, John. Well shit. That's a problem. You watch a movie like this and then you want to do a terrible southern drawl the rest of the day. 
We're going to talk about this the whole goddamn review. That's all right, brother. <laughs> Preach it. Yeehaw, that would blow your time out of there. That was the film we deserve <laughs> for the lives we deserve. <laughs> going to get myself a gator hunting gun. Damn. Wow. All right, well, now we review it. <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Well, while I feel like I got to digest it a little bit <laughs> as we go, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I've seen a, I've seen a few horror movies this year, and... This, this came out 2022, so I'm not sure exactly where I would particularly place it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. You know, I thought it did a really good job at the first thing that pops to mind for me is I think it did an ex- excellent job at not only capturing the aura and the aesthetics of a 70s horror movie, but really using it as more than just a gimmick. It had a it had a powerful affect on the experience overall. With its yeah, you have that dirty, scuzzy feeling about it, and while it you know evokes a lot of the '70s horror movies, as the film plays out, it it stops being that. And the way they the director Ty West did a great job at subverting expectations in. The way how a lot of deaths went down or even doing some good surprises for certain things. And it does a good job of getting you to pay attention in, in a way where it's not like this big murder mystery or something like that. But, you know, it's it's, it's not till like close to an hour in until movies about an hour 45 and or yeah, some of that actual film, not, not counting credits, about an hour 45. And I and I noticed that like it wasn't till like close to an hour in went until the first death happens. But there's constantly building the the mood. It's constantly building this atmosphere of this interesting sin and depravity, but not like full on depravity. It's more of just the uh, messed up ways uh, this Christian America can often uh, make society feel, and it's uh, which was which is neat to have her be the daughter. I thought. Of, like to grow up in a household because there's so much types of oppression that gets judged and often the ones who are the, the ones f- causing the condemnation to have those same desires within themselves and then they retaliate by shaming or like this is this is like a very extreme version of that to me you know sure. with this old couple where I haven't seen this Pearl movie I don't know what the hell that happens in the yeah. Pearl backstory but then my interpretation off of this one standalone film first off is if you get this impression of this judgment that they bestow upon the way society is today and the youth and then like these guys are the embodiment of it they're making an adult film look at them just having their orgies and, and, and indulging themselves in their sexual deviant ways mm. but she desires that <laughs> and she wants that too you know yeah and they commit these acts of violence. So it was an interesting, it was an interesting experience because you're you're so much more in the mood of it all before shit starts really going down. And I thought it did a really excellent job because I thought it was just going to be like a nonstop slaughter fest, and suddenly in the last half hour where she's like running fast and all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, where she gets supernatural power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it never it never divulged into that because they introduced her as this. Uh, you know, helpless, senile lady, just very ill, and even I was getting my guesses wrong about like maybe he's all, maybe they're trying to just trick us, like he's all right, yeah. But she's she's cruising with, but actually, you know, they're they're both crazy, and it's they're the same people from when they were young, where he just wants to please her and keep her happy. So I thought it was a very fun experience. Uh, I thought it was really well executed, and disturbing that that wasn't like too disturbing to me but it was like reasonably disturbing but it's a yeah it's, it's like effectively a fun disturbing it's fun disturbing it's like grindhouse horror to me it wasn't like yeah yeah it's, it's really it's really like pulpy <laughs> and, and i like how it's practical effects driven in that department too yeah i yeah. think they they did nicely in a couple different ways to split the difference and yeah have it be they did just the right amount of tributing to to give you a bunch of preconceived notions to then tweak and play with 
uh, you know, based off of stuff like a Texas Chainsaw movie or like a Friday the 13th movie or any number of others. And then they also give you the 70s style to then go off of. But they also mix just the right amount. It's like it's like you said, it's not just like a gimmick or a filter or something they put over this. They use the patience of the 70s vibe and that directing style and those lens choices to, I think, split the difference in a really nice way. Because if you watch a movie like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that movie feels like you're there, and it's very spread out in a lot of ways, and it's more violent than you remember it being. Uh, whereas in a movie like this, you know, you still have a lot of that same patience and a lot of that same atmosphere and a lot of that same, you know, you can feel the heat and the stickiness. But I feel like this, in a side-by-side -side comparison, would be more outwardly pleasing in a way because it is uh, paced in a more modern sensibility. It has more of a modern build. And so I thought, yeah, whilst... Also, like, a gazillion shots in style. So it's, the, it's yeah. not purely, like, a 70s film. No, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, and again, like, I, I've seen other movies, and, and other Thai West movies even, uh, very much adhere to the time and place in cinema that they are emulating and and speaking the language of whereas here i thought it was a really nice splitting of that difference and that carries over into the gore and the kills as well because yeah it is like schlocky and it is like grindhousey and it is like more 80s in that regard or yeah i mean late 70s works too but yeah you have that sort of naturalistic approach to like when she gets her fingers smashed in the door jenna ortega like that's a very icky like real looking gag mm -hmm. but it also plays as this very shocking very in your face you know thing that in a in an earlier time would not look as real would look a lot more hyper stylized and so i, I think they did nicely across a lot of different parts of this to split that difference to authentically give you you know that tribute quality but then use that against you too those like, old people did not look real like realistically old they, they looked like, like it was like well, i enjoyed looking at the makeup but they look like so it's, it's a nitpick i mean I don't, I don't know how much it would really do for me if they did look real <laughs> you know but yeah. it was like you were, that is like such Makeup. <laughs> They're so made up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like you yeah. can tell, like, oh, they both got fake teeth in, and then he's got, like, his jaw built way down to look like a Hills Have Eyes character. Like if Crypt Keepers fell in love with the yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Not, well. not that it needs to be that real for me. Um, I don't even know why I really pointed it, up, pointed it out, but it's just, that's just one thing. But yeah, it's it's something you, I noticed that throughout. I was thinking about that. I mean, I think that's what it really helped you guess that thing with Mia Goth, too. It's like there's an awareness that this is not this makeup is so yeah it's very much makeup <laughs> yeah and it's funny because partway through I was like oh wow like they're really drawing this mystery like they're not showing their faces very much what's going on and then partway through you're like okay that's a conscientious decision because it's creepy but also it helps these makeups <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah well I think the movie is so much about our I like okay like, I'm gonna get it out of the way everyone does a great job act acting wise thought everyone was great yeah you know and. I like I like these horror movies that are always the two halves. Like you got one half of this movie which only intermittently checks in with the old people. But the first half is them making an adult film and the uh, uncomfortable situations that can occur with that but are kind of thematically linked with Jenna Ortega's character because so much of it is is so much Christian America's unhealthy relationship with sexuality. You know, and her character is like they call her what, the church girl, church mouse, yeah, church mouse, church, yeah. church mouse. She's the one who walks around wearing the crucifix around her neck, like she's a good Christian girl, and and it's her desire for you know the lustful desire that comes out of her, which the moments preceding the time where she um, lets out that she wants to be a part of the adult film, where everyone's talking about like yeah, this is like old ways of thinking and. This, and and you know in 2023 today it's like uh, polyamorous relationships are, are so common now, mm -hmm. especially out here in LA. <laughs> like they're they're very cool non monogamy. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's very common now, yeah. and and it's something that you know obviously can still have a, a very big stigma around it, and then a lot of people can feel uncomfortable to like open up about it or or be honest if they are in one or something like that, uh, because uh, just because of the way the world is, right? And so when they're with that group, they're all talking about it, like the difference between love, sex, 
yada 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 and then with her character going down that change and then watching it tear apart the relationship i like how that ends up being the segue piece into the full-blown horror with the old couple who has this thing that the sexual desire that morphs into violence yeah which is which is such a it, like the religious thing was so overt and but it became such a such a such a presence throughout even though the movie wasn't even about religion but it is <laughs> yeah yeah, you know? yeah and i like that you know by the end of it it's like it sets you up in a way where y- you expect certain characters will be rewarded or punished for certain things and i think it does nicely but i thought too yeah, yeah to not leave you there ultimately because it's like it's like church mouse makes it almost to the end and the guy who is the least involved in what the community around him is doing is the first one to go and yeah like i thought this had a i this is a movie that i would want to chew on and kind of digest more because i think there there's so much of it that's just kind of your straightforward watching events unfold but there is i think an interesting human commentary because i i did feel for the old couple in a way because yeah i mean they have these really restrictive beliefs but also they are just like past the prime of of life and longing for you know the the spoils and splendors of being young and what that affords you and uh and some of that is very tragic uh and and that sort of personal tragedy then bleeding over into this yeah religious dogma that i think is nicely like poked at and prodded without ever feeling like it's preachy or like it's you know like i'm watching somebody do a diatribe but but through characters or something like that like this plays really well as its own movie just experience alone and it doesn't seem to pass too much judgment on any one character uh which i think is kind of a nice thing because then that allows you to bring your own you know rorschach test psychology in and kind of uh extrapolate as as you please and as you want and i mean I think the only thing you can kind of predict going in is like most everybody will probably die somehow. <laughs> but the way that all goes down, I thought was was interestingly handled and it didn't feel too much like it felt like the, the situation going to shit and then you finding what twisted underbelly lies beneath all this stuff. And like you were pointing out, yeah, like, you know, people who are watching this on TV all the time yet are harboring these latent desires that are just festering and rotting and boiling over. And I think having them be old, these two, like, is, you know, extremely old and kind of, you know, <laughs> stylized looking people then coming together and actually making love to one another (laughs) and having that not be the thing that kills them but it gets them kind of close to there like i think it flirts with those things that people imagine and when jenna ortega runs out she she has that turn where she's like you're the cause of all this this is all your fault like she almost has this turn back into the extremes of her faithfulness because it's it's almost kind of uh, uh, resigning to the idea that like God is punishing us right now because of my temptation, because of you guys, because we snuck in here and had to do all this. And, yeah, and yeah, it, it it I think it just gets at that fulcrum of pleasure that can either empower or rot you, <laughs> you know, one way or another. And I think it is interesting that she is the. You know, I guess you could argue that she is an escapee from this particular sect of Christianity that is all over these TVs that is just like so prevalent. And I think that's kind of a neat thing for that character because I, I guess you always have to question. I don't know anything surrounding sexual empowerment that is like authored by a dude <laughs> is like something I think you know needs a certain amount of like an examination. But it is kind of interesting that yeah, she is you know well entrenched in you know, the the industry that we're spending most of the first half of the movie looking through the lens of, and yet she's also having this direct reaction to a different kind of oppression that's masquerading as something pious. Whereas here, it's like on the face, this is like, yeah, this is a sin, this is a sexual deviance, all that stuff. And yet, you know, when we peer in on them, they're just kind of regular people, you know, trying to make a life for themselves. And I think that's the nice thing about that mantra I don't want to live the life I, I want to live the life I deserve or whatever or I won't live the life I don't deserve and her repurposing that for her own empowerment. Yeah, that's an interesting twist. Yeah. I wonder how I feel about that twist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like 
I mean, it gives you kind of an insight and a little bit more to like ruminating on what her backstory would be. Mm-hmm. It is just, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know how I, f- I really don't know if I even really li- I'm like, like, oh, cool. But is it a little too clever? For <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm curious. The, the twi- I, like the twist might be like a little too much for me. I, I don't know if it is though. It might breach. There's again. I think there's a certain. Uh, they're not doing too much magic with the circumstances. Everything feels very natural, and that is one of those things that feels the most coincidental. I guess, or the most, it's the detail that is placed in a way where you can most feel beyond the camera instead of just what's happening on screen. That's a good way to put it, yeah. Yeah. That's a really good way to put it. And that's a, that's a thing I would be curious to, again, digest and stuff. Like, I I, I like, it's, it's, it's difficult in this position because you want to have a fully formed opinion, you know, right away. But this is one of those movies that I would want to sit with for the theme's sake because the ending, the way the ending goes down, part of me is like, you could look at this as just a, a new twist or a, a new way to you have your classic slasher final girl, but she is even further from like there was a time where it was kind of progressive to have it be that like it wasn't just the virginal girl who makes it to the end. Like maybe there is a girl who does indulge a bit throughout the movie, but she still kind of is okay and she makes it. And in this one, it's like, you know, she's you know, the whole like you can't have sex and make it through the movie rules out the window. But she's also like, you know, she takes a, a bump at the end as well. And it's like, you know, she's still kind of steeped in all these things. I think a character would be punished for in, if the movie had actually come out during this time. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I don't think the movie's on the side of yeah Christian America. No, <laughs> yeah. no. But, but at the same time, it doesn't seem entirely just like religion bad and that's it you know like I, I feel like at least the way it presents itself gives you again a little more latitude to consider you know the themes yeah no i i think they don't it doesn't become like protagonists arguing about religion yeah I mean, they call her church mouse and stuff but in, in the whole discussion about sexuality before uh jenna ortega's character decides she wants to be on camera there's not uh, I don't think there's anything brought up about God in that moment. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just that guy's personal boundary. Yeah, I don't know, there's nothing brought up about Christianity, but but that's the thing is there's so, there's there's so much of a and it's still evolving in this world, you know, and it's in, in America especially it's still, it's so, it's so evolving and there is such an uncomfortableness mm-hmm. that a lot of us kind of grow up with. Every time I go into the sauna. <laughs> oh, it happened today. There's always some like random guys just talking about it <laughs> and like what our kids are growing up with. <laughs> like I'm like, this is why is it always in the song? <laughs> like there's always like <laughs> random guys. I've never seen the same guy twice. Let's and it's all always get other guys and talking mostly about naked it. together and yeah, talk about what's like, wrong with the kids <laughs> today. <yeah. laughs> and, and the kind of society they're growing up in, you know? Uh it, and it's because yeah, I mean, even even the director, the Wayne director, talks about like the time in which this movie's taking place is before people could just access adult films, um, you know, in their uh, you could just, uh, comfortability of your own homes. They're not yeah, exclusive privacy. to just the creeps, you know, or perverts, whatever. Yeah, you don't have to be bold yeah. enough to go to a theater. Yeah, yeah. Now you can just, <laughs> everyone can indulge because everyone has it in them at the end of the day, you know. And it's that, I, I, I like the story of, of, of someone who wants, uh, I like the idea of like, this is all, a form of repression just manifesting itself in some weird way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and even for even even for the Jenna Ortega, I don't know, Jenna, Mia Goth character Maxine, like in some ways or her upbringing is, is so much about hers. You can imagine. I, I like the twist for what it tells you about the character mm-hmm. of Maxine growing up in what must have been the strictest Christian household. <laughs> yeah. And preacher's daughter. So much of being judged, being told you're not good enough, and what you're doing is a sin. You're wrong. You're going to go to hell. You're going to be punished. And and so much of this is a uh, an act going against that and learning to be okay with yourself doing all that. You know. Mm-hmm. And so I I appreciate that. I do miss for a, a something that kind of I, I don't like. Uh, this movie, of John, I very much disagree on. Uh, I don't like that Texas Chainsaw Massacre original movie. I don't. I have a really hard time sitting through it. I, sure. I think it's a very frustrating, 
film. <laughs> sure. It's, and and uh, but what I do like is the element of the very end of the relief that the final girl has after the the crazy turmoil this woman has been through and this desperation to survive and then when she gets away like it, it's such an iconic shot in cinema when she's on the back of the truck yeah. for a reason you know i'm like oh she, she did it look out because <laughs> there's all these like variety of emotions yeah. running through her and i and 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 for me i do kind of need that when a main character gets away after all their friends die is something that seems like i just went through Hell. hell and granted she didn't see like all the dead bodies and whatever but she's probably picked up on the fact that all are all dead you know but yeah. she, she's been through a horror show and there was a bit of a missing ingredient which is crazy to me because mia goth did such an amazing job yeah throughout the film and as the old lady like such an amazing job but the the movie didn't have that button for me of her having just dealt with like just the most horrific experience and as much as there's like these empowering qualities uh, a part that pulls me out is just to kind of go through like the craziest horror show in the world right now. <laughs> and, if I was the director. <laughs> and she was just a little too cool for school uh, at the end of it for me. If I was the director, I would have done a, a long, one of those one of those things they, they sometimes used to do back in the day, whereas you do your credits over a long shot and just let her drive, let the credits play as she's driving and just like breaking down. Maybe she still, you know, it takes whatever she needs, but but yeah. It is a little bit like, hell yeah, I just made it through. I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm going out to be a star still, and I'm leaving this all behind yeah. me. And I think you could do that. Uh, I think you could still have that, but I, I feel like part of your blender, that other quality ought to have been mixed in a little bit more. Because, yeah, when she, I mean, when she, when, uh, when Bobby Lynn comes in and she's like, she was in my bed, she was touching me. Like, she seemed really rattled. And, and yeah, like. Just, Rightfully so. Just a little bit. Of that on that ending shot would have been yeah nice yeah so just she's a badass yeah badass <laughs> yeah. or 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 you know even if you argue she's in shock she still kind of comes across I feel like you know the movie is putting it across to you yeah. like but she's kind of a badass still <laughs> yeah yeah no I, yeah. I think you can do disturb but badass mm. I think uh, definitely yeah I think I'm saying like I want to say sacrifice the quality that they had saying implement no, uh, with you know we're in agreement I, uh, yeah just yeah. add a little bit more of that that shakenness that we have seen up until this point yeah yeah that's the that's one part of it mm -hmm. um but the actors were all good i thought everyone was very natural yeah. and um and and uh they all brought something to the role like uh, there's all kinds of archetypes in here but they didn't feel like archetypes which i really appreciated yeah like they they really could have you know and and i think for a movie that's riffing on slasher films which generally have the trope of like these people going out and fornicating and haha they're about to get killed i like how that's such a part a meat and part of the story mm -hmm. it's it's part of the literally thematically what you're dealing with in this entire story uh and so i thought that was real i really appreciate that and i think for every character that they had here who was part of the film crew they they managed to make everyone feel very natural with writing and performances and no one felt like they were just playing stereotypes yeah. when they really it really could have been that like you got you literally got one black guy <laughs> like you could you could have just been uh a very stereotypical oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i'm marine baby <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 you could have played him like an actual 70s wah-wah thing yeah and britney so could have just been like blonde ditzy girl or whatever yeah it's yeah. like you can tell these are actual People they felt like people. Yeah, they they feel yeah. like people. Yeah, Britney Snow's got ambitions. Kid Cudi, like you know, he feels that character. I was like, yeah, I buy that. I buy that he's you know this ex marine who's yeah, well, they still in his prime to a degree. Well, I think they flesh out the relationships re pretty well too. I mean, even for the Howard, not Howard, um, Wayne. Wayne, for the Wayne character, you know, I feel like in another movie he just would have been like oh you find out he's just some douchey guy and he wants to bang all the other girls oh, i can't wait to watch yeah, the sleaze yeah, guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, you, he turns into just some like creep sleazy dude and you really get the idea like no i mean i respect what my woman does and uh yeah. I, I, but yeah i got business run. i do want to run business but you also get the idea that he cares yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like everyone felt 
he, the relationships all worked for me. Even even Jenna Ortega and the boyfriend, the guy filming, like I thought that all all that worked really well. It was a so, solid conflict. So I think for a film that managed to do a thing that was riffing on a certain type of genre and era, they did bring something unique to it and felt natural. And, and it, was, it was a really well-executed movie that I feel like my appreciation for will probably just grow over time with like literally a couple of things that I'm questionable about how I feel about it. Yeah. No, yeah, it's, I think, a really good convergence of classic and modern sensibility and uh, and, yeah, something that has sort of timeless questions but also questions themes that are very pertinent to the right here and now and yeah i think it does also well to again set you up with certain preconceived notions it's like old people in these kinds of movies are always just wallpaper to make everything creepier but here they're like actually characters after a while and yeah even though you are about to watch a bunch of teens or young people ish making love and then dying it's not in the exact same package as you would expect it. And even the little peripheral things like the alligators was a great touch. Just like a great sort of hazard of the environment. What is an alligator? What is for the elevator versus crocodile? What does an alligator re- alligator re- represent? Yes, let's do that. Ancient, Ancient wisdom, wisdom, primal instincts, good fortune. How do we how do we read into the use of an alligator? Yes. <laughs> uh, I guess well, you know, there's there's alligator. plenty of uh, primal you know, instinct, ancient wisdom, all the all the religious themes, ancient religious themes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm not having the wrong word. Symbolism is the word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> alligator symbolism. All right. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Or they can really present like a threat. Spirit animals symbolize individuality, protection, and strength. So. I guess that one works after the, after the fifteen definitions sure. we have of alligators in front of us. Yeah, we go, yeah, no individuality, protection. <laughs> Howard and Pearl are just trying to protect each other. <laughs> yeah. Or he was just like, well, they were by a, a swamp. They were by and, a swamp. Uh, that's really alligators are kind of generally there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a thing you'd have to look out That'd for. Be a good death kill. <laughs> yeah, and also mad respect uh, to the, how they handle the kills because even though you know they're gonna die, it's also uh, they, they would surprise because the like I think the one that surprised me the most because yeah, you have some good jump scare ones. The one that surprised me the most was the death of Wayne because it goes into his eye and it's just funny. Yeah. But then it's when it classic. but when it cuts back, I'm like, I've never had that before. Like a like a cut back to it and it's just being pulled out. Yeah. Like something you've already seen happen. Sure. And 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 the jump scare is not him getting and jabbed in the eye. The, the jump scare is it getting pulled out. Sure. <laughs> like that, that was really creative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and like the uh, do again, like it's it's another one of those it's a classic kill, and yeah, it's the classic kind of kill you would cut away from, and that's it. Yeah. And then, yeah, you get you get the whole aftermath, and she buries him, and it just gives you so much extra little hint as to what really is happening here while also, yeah, like keeping the body count feeling fresh, you know? Definitely. For the here and now. And yeah, uh, like really, really effective in terms of kills and jump scares and stuff like that. Like nothing felt... There weren't really anywhere I was like, ah, cheap, <laughs> you know. And I and I don't know if it's a direct reference to any movie, but I I actually really liked that that strange one, two, three, and now we actually cut to the next scene or the other, you know, place that we're alluding to. I thought that editing transition they kept doing was was an interesting flourish. Well, it makes it feel like overlap, like because it is overlapping in a way, but it's really intercutting. But I did learn recently that, like, back then, it was so much harder to add when you're dealing with film. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, directors wouldn't even know what the a dissolve or a fade, whatever, might look like until oh. the film was out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a process now. You could just, like, drop it in your iMovie. You know? Yeah. It's, like, really easy. And uh, so, but back then with film, so... I appreciate they didn't do any of that shit here. Yeah. And it was like, well, and I wonder if it, because it adds a certain, there is a mood to it and it, it gives it a bit of an ethereal touch. So, uh, but it's their time, like from understanding filmmaking a little bit, I, I'm like, I wonder if they chose just, you know, not to do any type of fades because of that. Yeah. You know, and he makes that comment about like, I can take the footage and I can put it in any order I want, <laughs> you know, 
Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So even though it's not like directly like, oh, he must have edited this. Like there is, yeah, I think it, it pairs nicely with the tangibility of the filmmaking. <laughs> but I would have loved if it, if the actual final shot of the movie was while she's driving, the film, you know, is real. The yeah closes out and then it cuts to, and it's RJ at the editing booth and he's like, well. What do you think of the film? <laughs> <laughs> do you think this is more RC and more entertaining? <laughs> is this an elevated adult film yeah. or not? Yeah. yeah. It's just with the whole cast. And they're, yeah. all, they're all alive and they're all just you know, watching a movie. You see Mia Goth in like her makeup, in her old woman makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and for a second there, I was like, well, if a young actress is playing, you know, is playing the old woman, maybe a, maybe the guy who plays Wayne is playing <laughs> yeah, Howard yeah. or something, you know? <laughs> what if there's some like, Time timeline thing, happening yeah, here. yeah, convergence of time happening here at once. Either that, or or I would have loved if if just afterwards, you know, it's like cut to the evidence evidence room, and some cop is like, "I cut together the footage they got. Would you like to see?" It? Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. just play the actual porno. All right, like Super Eight or something. Um, all righty, guys. Well, thank you for being here. I really appreciate um everyone who suggested this wild film. Yeah, it's fun. And hey, we will. Uh, what, what's today's? What date are we filming this? And then we'll just end this video right now. We'll talk with you all soon. Thank you for being here. <laughs>